Hello everyone, welcome back to Sports Khabri. I'm Rahul and uh, with me is Arnava from Arun Foot. We've had a couple of things that have happened over the past week or so and we thought it's only right that we discuss them. The first big thing was Arsene Wenger coming to India. Former Arsenal manager, of course, legendary manager in Engl- English football. He's also FIFA's uh, chief of global football development and as part of his duties had visited India. Arnava, first of all, how are you doing? And I just wanted to know from you what exactly was the purpose of uh, Arsene Wenger's visit to India. Well, first of all, thank you, Rahul. I'm doing fine. And uh, I guess for you as a as an Arsenal fan, I think it's yeah. a big thing that the most legendary Arsenal manager was in the country. And uh, first of all, of course, FIFA has supported Indian football quite a bit over the last decades, I would say. You know, um, and it started quite a while back and it's always been there and uh, be it under uh, the former president, Zepp Blatter, and that has continued under the current president Gianni Infantino and there have been exchanges between FIFA and the AFF about possibilities to enhance, develop Indian football. There have been conversations with Arsene Wenger in his role to develop football around the world and Arsene Wenger took it on him to say, listen, I want to come to India, I want to experience India um, and let's see what can we do. And the first step uh, of that was, of course, for Arsene Wenger for himself to come spend four days in India. The FIFA AFF Academy was launched in Bhubaneswar, uh, which is a partnership between FIFA AFF and the government of Odisha. And uh, Odisha has been quite a big hub for sports development um, in the last few years. Uh, Hockey, of course, is is, is the big example. And uh, football, of course, has made um, a lot of inroads, not only men's, but also women's football as well. And uh, this academy hopefully will help the AFF to polish the talented young players that hopefully will come through the youth system and uh, you know prepare them yeah. for the professional world of football and you know it, it takes over from from a, from a smaller lower level of the AFF elite academy which used to exist in the past and um, Mr. Wenger of course also got a got a look and feel of India he saw India play against Qatar you know he yeah. saw the difference in the standard between Qatar you know with with being uh, having been hosts of the last World Cup, having something like the Aspire Academy, you know, one of the best facilities in the world, bringing in some of the best trainers in the world. Uh, the Qatar Stars League is, is a strong league in Asia as well. And all these things, you know, you realize where India really stands. Yeah. Arnav, I just want to talk about a little more about the AIFF FIFA Academy, apart from what you've just said. Um, what do we know about the Academy? Is there sort of a roadmap or a, a, do we have certain dates set? saying, okay, this is exactly what the plan is going to be like, or is it still under the wraps? So FIFA will depute coaches for that program to give sort of the final touches. The focus is on the under 17s to to be able to to play at the Asian level, but potentially also play at the under 17 FIFA World Cup in the future, qualify on merit, not be just hosts as we were in 2017. I think that's very, very important to say. Uh, I would I would think uh, that, uh, you know, having coaches recommended by FIFA and especially by Arzit Wenger will be quality coaches who hopefully will be able to help these kids to reach a higher level of football and, and take Indian football in the long term forward. Yeah, no, and quickly on the game, um, India-Qatar, of course, Wenger was there. Uh, he watched it. What What do you think he's... Uh, I, I know he's, he's given a couple of comments saying that there was a lot of... Uh, fight from the Indian side. From a technical point of view, do you think him watching uh, will sort of help? Um, Because I know it's just one game, but how much of it do you think uh, he can probably take back and say, you know what, these guys need sort of technical development more than anything else? Asin Wenger is one of the most successful managers who is coached in not only the English game, but I would say in world football. And uh, he's a renowned coach. He's an expert of the game. Um, He has an unbelievable understanding of the game. So someone like him watching... 90 plus minutes of India will and watching it live I think always I always say it's very important to watch a game live and not just watch it on television because you in a, in a live game you see a lot of things which television can't transport you because television really travels mainly with the ball and I think Arsene Wenger would have learned a few things about you know I said uh, you saw the fighting spirit the grit of the Indian team but he will also have seen our deficiencies again he's a gentleman he will not speak about them in public most probably he's spoken to uh, about it with with the AFF Maybe, I don't know if, if, if he met and spoke with Igor too much about it as well. Again, I think to him it will be obvious of what 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 the good parts and what the negatives are for, for Indian football. And yeah. uh, it's important for him, you know, if he's helping, trying to help us evolve and develop. And he's called India a gold mine. I mean, I, I, I remember I was there in South Africa when, when Zaplata said that India was the sleeping giant of world football. And everyone in that room was like, why is Zeplata on the African continent talking about India? Because I remember he started saying, don't forget India. My friends, we need to talk about India. 
and this is something which which of course he's taken forward which infantino's taken forward um i find it a little dangerous when uh, when someone says gold mine because i think he was looking at it from a from a talent perspective yeah, certain yeah. people have made it out to be talking about finances i don't think um as in Wenger was looking at it from a financial standpoint i think he's looking at at a, at a pure uh, football perspective and he's saying listen it's 1.5 billion people it's about 20% of the world population india needs to participate in the global game which is football and i think that was where he was coming from and going to and 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 i totally agree with him and and this is something again that you will say i will say everyone uh, you know who who's who's got love and interest for indian football will say that indian football has a lot of potential but um we need to do the basics right and i hope that is something that will come from him with his knowledge with his experience um again uh, you know when you, when you think about when arsen wenger went to the english game came to arsenal arsenal were good english football was okay but he was one of those managers who've taken english football to the next level that foreign influence yeah. is very very crucial for england to develop evolve as a national team for the premier league to evolve again arsen wenger is one you know even if you see the uh, pochettino is back you've seen how, what the influence of klopp and uh, guardiola have been uh, even now ateta at arsenal so that is very very important not to forget Sir alex ferguson as well you know and 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 the list goes on and on and on um and therefore someone like him can help us i hope he comes back to india regularly that he can give us more and more inputs because a one off visit is nice but someone mm-hmm. like arsen wenger if he can come in a few times if he can yeah. understand it and even also on the other side depute people to come in and understand indian football more because my learnings of the last 25 years have been is that indian football is not indian football you have to see india not as a country but rather as a con so you will have to find local solution to nationally develop football and i think that's the biggest challenge where it which indian football has okay fair enough um again uh, the reason i brought up technical abilities and probably the first thing that he probably wanted to improve is the technical aspect is because over the years at least being an ask fan i've seen wenger bring in probably some of the best technicians in football bt ariondi dennis burkham then you mesedozil more recently ses fabregas so these sort of technical players and <clears throat> again like you said anuma do you, do you think like he's going to potentially come a few more times and then really work on the technical parts of football in different regions i i go back to my time at mumbai city uh, when i was ceo of mumbai city in the first season of the isl and we had uh, nicholas and elka as well as freddy jungberg with us and and i after my time at mumbai I actually went to arsenal had a look around uh, you know the, the the training complex met freddy over there and freddy jungberg clearly said you know arsen wenger has really transformed the club you know i mean arsenal were compared to other teams always a little bit more technical had a little bit more flair than than other teams who used to work football yeah. english football i think that's a very very important thing and this is an area which we in indian football at the moment i think lack the most i think technical mm-hmm. abilities is something which we lack the most i think if you look at indian footballers at the moment the mentality fighting spirit the physical fitness is better than ever before but i think technical abilities is something which we need to work on which we need to develop we have few players who are technically very very gifted but are they ready really for that top level of international football you know if i look at a sahal if i look at a brandon these guys are technically really good even you know liston chang they all these guys how can we improve them but what that work is very very difficult because they are already in their mid 20s or late 20s so it's going to be difficult to develop them so it's a question of what do we do with the younger players and that is the mm-hmm. challenge for indian football is if a fifa aff academy can give that finishing touch to those players before they go on to play for the india under 20s before they get into the isl maybe go abroad that is going to be important i hope that is going to be one of the biggest focus areas focus points because i think that's what we need to work on well fair enough yeah i mean the hope is that uh, wenger has seen all of these things and he does probably come back a few more times work and of course uh, deploy coaches that are needed in the right areas of india um and i mean obviously that understanding will only probably get built up after he comes a couple more times hopefully he does um end up bettering in in football technically and otherwise um thanks anuma for the short chat but yeah, that was on uh, arsen wenger's visit to um india and basically our takeaways from it uh, until next time please do like share and subscribe arun food and sports khabri see you thanks anuma bye everyone